Dr. Fieldbright, the pharmacist. Too flighty. Master Greenfield, the grocer. Ew, too geeky. Lord Hedgerow, the horticulturist. Ugh, too hairy. Ugh. Girls, perhaps we are being too particular. I'm up to the odds. Well, you want us to be happy, don't you? Of course I do, dear. Like any good mother, I want you to have all the things I never had. Now, who could that be? And at this hour, unannounced. It's the royal steward. <laughs> and stay there until my guest has gone and I come for you. Am I understood? Of course, stepmother. Yes. Good. All right, girls. A lesson in how to greet a suitor. Watch and learn. Lionel, what a pleasant surprise! I just knew there was something between us. Have we met? You were obviously intrigued by our little tete-a-tete the other night. Please, madam, some restraint. Restraint above all else! Oh, presenting His Royal Highness, Prince Christopher. <clears throat> Ladies, I am in search of the maiden whose foot fits that slipper. Uh, she lost it at the ball. <clears throat> really? Why, I was just saying to my lovely daughter Joy this very morning, I was saying, whatever could have happened to your other shoe was an idea. I was saying, wherever could you have lost it? Ouch! Oh. I'd buy you. I'd know it anywhere. Of course you would, dear. Uh, um, sweetheart, Joy, is it? The shoe is made of glass. It doesn't stretch. <laughs> Why? That's my shoe, sister. You know that. Here, your highness, let me show you. <sighs> Fits me like a glove. Well, no, actually, I had a little accident earlier. Before you guys got here, I kicked a bucket, and now my toe's all swollen up. <laughs> um, I don't suppose you have the other shoe with you. Oh, any, are there any other women in this house? Why, yes. There is one more. Move it! <laughs> <laughs> what I meant to say was, are there any other younger women in the house? How much younger? Younger than you. <laughs> oh, please! I'm begging you. Take one of my daughters. Joy has charm and elocution. Peter Piper pictures Pepper. <laughs> She's really much smarter than she looks. And Grace, why, that girl's as strong as an ox. <laughs> And cultured, why she can recite the wreck of the Hespers in three languages. Well, four if you count pig Latin. Ave, equi, espris, hey, what? Look, lady, it's Ave, been a long day. So for the last hey, time, could you please lay. tell me, Honor are there any lay. other younger Honor women in the house? Lay. Oh, well, you shut up. <sighs> no, there are no other young women in the house. I'm here. What? I'm sorry, stepmother, but I am here. A scullery maid! A chimney sweep! Well, you 
certainly sound like a girl of many talents. What say we try it on? Wait a minute. Didn't I bump into you at the village about a week ago? In the... Oh, now I remember. You helped me with my packages. Yeah. It was right after I knocked him out of your arms. <laughs> you said that everyone deserves to be treated with kindness and respect. Never did tell me your name. It's Cinderella. What a beautiful name. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> May I, Cinderella? 